I am Ferdinand Marcos and I am the President of the Republic of the Philippines. I stand today on behalf of 110 million Filipinos. Hello people and hello universe, it's me again mga be, shout out sa lahat mga Pilipino sa buong daigdig. But anyway guys, ayan, nakikita yung nakikita ko, ayan po si Pangulong Marcos Jr. Uh -huh. Na pinanguna niya po ang inaugurasyon ng uh, Poblacion Water uh, Treatment Plant dyan po sa Munting Lupa. Ayan sa Anipwersa guys, ang uh, gobyerno at ang private sector sa katawahan po ni Manny Pangilinan. Tingnan nyo guys, ito talaga si Pangulong Marcos Jr. Minsan magagulat ka na lang eh, no? sa mga ganyang mga proyekto. Hindi natin alam pero bigla na lang sumulpot. No? So uh, nakakamangha din ang kanyang uh, uh, pagtatrabaho. Yung, uh, go, yung tahimik siya pero may gawa. No? Alam nyo, talagang bumibili ba ko sa kanya? Kasi lahat guys ng mga bilyonaryo sa Pilipinas, kinakakutsaban niya, eh. kinakausap niya para makipagtulungan sa panga, sa ano sa magagandang uh, or mamalalaking proyekto ng gobyerno lalo na guys siyempre kudos po mga kababayan sa mga icon no uh, na mga bilyonaryo katulad ni uh, ni ano guys Gukongwe Ayala Subel Mr. Ang yung San Miguel Bear San Miguel Bear ba yan at siyempre Mr. Manny Pangilinan na uh, CEO ng Channel 5 yan ito guys uh, believe ka kay Pangulong Marcos Jr. lahat ka kinakaibigan niya no ito yung uh, makikita mo yung kanyang uh, talagang uh, slogan before nung nang, nangampanya siya di ba uh, unity team yung pagkakaisa ika nga tama nga naman no walang uh, bilyonaryo bilyonaryo magkaisa lahat to tingnan niyo yan no si Mr. Uh, CEO Pangilinan niyan guys ha kaya napakagaling no ang kanyang mga strategiya ba si Pangulong Marcos Jr. lot friend niya pala kaibigan nito So, yun mga kababayan, pakinggan po natin ang speech ni Pangulong Marcos Jr. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, <clears throat> President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., distinguished guests, a warm welcome and good morning to our third water treatment plant. Thank you, Mr. President, for your presence today. Um, we, we all know that water is critical not only to trade and commerce, but more so to human life. Uh, our ancestors managed to live without power or cellular phones, but uh, nobody could survive without water. In fact, the great cities of the world are built on or close to water, the very first civilization, uh, which was Mesopotamia, was built between the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers. London has the Thames, Paris the Seine, and New York the Hudson and East Rivers. And of course, Sydney, Hong Kong, Singapore, and Tokyo all have their magnificent bays or uh, harbors. Uh, related to that, uh, people's rights to potable and affordable water have leveled up to some of the most cherished concepts of basic freedoms, like the right to life, to religious expression, and free speech. Mr. President, your administration has been aware and proactive in addressing our water supply issues and we are inspired by your mandate to do our part. Wow. These uh, three water treatment plants catered to around 3.2 million customers around Paranaque, Las Piñas, Puntilupa, and Cavite. Wow. Manila's aggregate production from Laguna, Laguna Lake is now 450 million liters per day. Uh, the three plants, each with 150 million liters per day of output, about 30% of our daily build volume of 1.6 billion liters per day. Today's inauguration also diversifies our bulk water sources away from Angat Dan, which will help during bouts of supply uh, scarcity, especially in light of the incoming community. This 11 billion peso facility is part of a bigger effort uh, part of Manila's four-year service enhancement program requiring an investment of 220 billion pesos into our water and sewerage uh, treatment facilities. Wow. Also, Mr. President, I told Secretary Rosada that uh, we have decided to build the first desalination plant in this country in Iloilo City to be built on 
they can land in our power plant in Iloilo City. So it will be a plug and play uh, plant. Uh, it will have a capacity initially of 65 million liters per day and will uh, uh, precede the completion of the Jalo by a number of years uh, and will help alleviate the power supply. The, uh, the water supply, wrong company. The water service supply situation in the city is such. We would hope if you're successful in building the diesel plant that we are able to replicate that in the other island cities of this country. Finally, our deepest thanks go first to Your Excellency for your support to the water sector and to the many teams wow. who work devotedly to complete this facility. We look forward to continuing this journey of progress and, and service in water with all of you. Good day. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chairman Pangilinan. Now, may we call on the MWSS Administrator, Engineer Leonor C. Cleofas, for her message. His Excellency President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., distinguished guests, fellow co-workers in the government, ladies and gentlemen, a most wonderful and blessed day to all of us. Isa sa pinakamaiting na paninindigan ng ating mahal na Panghulo ay ang kalagan ng water. Ngayong taon pa lamang, nabuo na sa liderato ng ating Panghulo ang Water Resources Management Office at ang El Nino Team wow. na magtataguyot sa pagtuyot uh, on a whole government approach sa nagbabadyang pagtuyot at ng mga infrastructure projects na magbibigay ng tubig sa ating mga kabayanan. When the President said that water is the fundamental importance, he meant action. Wow, yes. And he also to say that MWSS, with the help of its concessioner, heeded the call of the President. Yes. To make this action tangible, the MWSS Board of Trustees approved the water security pillars which are the foundation of Metro Manila's short to long-term water security solutions and will provide sufficient water to the needs of the 20 million residents serviced by our three concessioners even beyond the year 2050. These are now in place and on pace under the President Marcos administration. Yes. Wow. And today, we are celebrating the foremost short-term water security project, the Poblacion Water Treatment Plan. This project stands as a symbol of the administration foresight and proactive approach because it is the fastest infrastructure project meant to mitigate the effects of El Nino. It will supply a total of 150 million liters per day to the West Concession Area. It is imperative to highlight that the Poblacion Water Treatment Plant now stands as the third water treatment facility from the MWSS West Concession Area and the port on the whole MWSS Concession Area drawing water from Laguna Lake. We at MWSS are committed in delivering tangible water security solutions. And we are grateful of the President's support in this noble journey. Wow. We, ex we extend our profound gratitude to the private sector, especially to Manila Water Services, our partners for 26 years, whose unwavering support has been instrumental in partnering with the Philippine government to achieve our shared goal of pro providing water and sanitation for all. The MWSS partnership with the private sector is a testament that public-private partnership work. The will of the government, the expertise and flexibility of the private sector creates a formidable alliance that turns visions and targets into reality. Yes. 
to our local government units and national government agencies, our deepest thanks. At sa Administrasyong Marcos, marami pong salamat sa tiwala at suporta. As the prime advocate and custodian of water security in Metro Manila, Rizal, Bulacan, and portion of Cavite, the MWSS remains steadfast in the commitment to implement projects that will provide clean, potable, and affordable water. Our projects shall contribute to the strategic infrastructure development of the agenda of the President for Build Better More programs. Yes. Our projects shall contribute to the upliftment of the Filipino people. Yes. Sa inyo pong lahat, marami pong salamat. Ganyan, kagaling ang Pangulo. <laughs> marami pong salamat, uh, Administrator Teofas. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to give us a better idea of how significant this project is, let us all watch this short video presentation. Mm, pa panoorin niyo po yun, ano? May ano kasi may music ito, ba makabiraid ako. Diyan, ka, ganyan kagaling ang Pangulo. Yung mga businessman na mga oligarkong mayayaman na icon, bilyonaryo katulad ni Mr. Pangilinan, ay eh, talagang kinakalampag niya mga kababayan, ha? <laughs> Para makipag-invest uh, or uh, makipag- uh, you know, partner sa Marcos administration, sa gobyerno, para lang masolusyonan guys, ang uh, problema po ng ating uh, mamamayang Pilipino, no? So, believe ka dito guys sa Pangulo na ito, sa totoo lang. Eh, tahimik lang, pero tingnan nyo naman guys, yung kanyang gawa, no? Lahat yan, kinakausap niya, no? Grabe, biro niya yun. Talaga namang nangangalampag siya sa mga bilyonaryo na makipagtulungan. Hindi lang guys, no? Ay, itong mga bilyonaryo na ito, hindi lang kikita sila guys, ha? Pati, siyempre, ang gobyerno kikita din, no? Eh, alam po natin, ang tubig ay buhay po yan. Kaya, isa sa mga priority ng Pangulo, yung advance sa kanyang pag-iisip, yung solusyon niya, dahil alam niyo po, ang El Nino, parating sa mga susunod na mga panahon, ay eh, talaga nakahanda na. Eh, 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 o, oh, tingnan nyo yan, no? Mga kababayan, wow, grabe. Oh my goodness, bilyon ng uh, halaga niyan, mga kababayan, ha? So, para sa akin, guys, no? Si Pangulong Marcos Jr., yung ugali niya, katulad na lang pag may bagyo, di ba? Pag may bagyo, uh, alam niya parating ang bagyo, oh, kukuntakin niya na naman yung mga sekretary ng uh, DSWD. Sasabihin, ihanda niyo, mag na kayo. Baka tatama na sa sunod na araw, ah, uh, Ora mismo, kinabukasan, ihatid na. At least guys, nakaprepare na kaagad. Parang ito ganito yung ginagawa ng Pangulo. Alam niya, darating ang El Nino. Ay, yan naman ang ginagawa niya. Diba? Mm, tingnan yung, ah, grabe. Ang laki yan, bes. Eh, ilang bayan yan ang, uh, ang uh, makikinabang. Napalo, napakinggan nyo naman kanina sa speech ni uh, Mr. Pangilinan. O, dig ba guys, ang galing. O, si... Sabi ko sa inyo eh. But uh, anyway guys, maraming salamat sa inyong watching. Pakinggan natin po ang speech ni Pangulong Marcos Jr. Salamat po sa private sector at sa gobyernong Marcos. Nakikipagtulungan at uh, siyempre guys, ang local government. WSS Board of Trustees and the Regulatory Office. It gives us a broader picture of how this particular facility enhances current water system in the West Concession area and how it will greatly benefit the consuming public. At this juncture, may we request the President to lead the unveiling of the inaugural marker to be assisted by DNR Secretary Loisaga, Admin Cleofas, Maynila Chairman MVP, and Maynila President Ramon Fernandez. By instructions of the President, I have to count us down. Three, two, one, go! Ang laking tulong yan, guys. Uh, 
thank you, uh, uh, Maritone Ayulo uh, Loisaga, our uh, DNR secretary. Please, uh, please uh, take your seat. Um, the Montinlupa Loan District Representative, uh, Congressman Jaime Fresnedi, Montinlupa City Mayor, Rosano Rufiano Piazon, MWSS Administrator Leonor Cleofas, and of course, uh, our most important partner in all of these endeavors is our, on, our, on the private, from the private sector side, uh, the uh, Manila Water Services Incorporated Chairman, uh, Manny uh, Pangilinan, fellow workers in government, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. I am uh, very pleased to be here today joining you in the inauguration of Maynila's Poblacion Water Treatment Plant. This will provide clean and potable water to residents in Metro Manila and its surrounding areas. I extend my greetings to our distinguished guests, private partners, local government officials, and community leaders who have played a crucial role in making this project a reality. It is a testament to our shared commitment to water security and sustainability. We stand on the brink of completing this crucial project, a necessity heightened by the current challenge posed by the El Nino phenomenon. Your collective efforts ensure that we exceed the demands of our people in these trying times. We, the El Nino, are projected to last until the second quarter of 2024. We must prioritize the repair of water pipes to prevent leakages and the completion of ongoing water supply projects to ensure that we have adequate supply. And so, let us call upon the pertinent agencies to intensify their vigilance in overseeing the construction of water supply facilities, particularly in regions grappling with water scarcity. As we confront present and future challenges, this project is a testament to the positive outcomes that we might achieve when the public and private sectors unite for the greater good. I invite the private sector once more to further explore opportunities to collaborate with government in addressing our water supply challenges. Let us continue to work together so that we can provide our people with the best quality services that they truly deserve. Water, although uh, we refer to water in the supply of water as a service. I am, uh, I am of the view that it is in fact a right of our people to be able to expect their government to put systems into place so that water is available to all households, to industry, to agriculture. These are the main uses of water that we have, that we, that we have, and so that they, we still must continue to develop all our capabilities. The focus has sharpened with the onset, with the, pro, with the uh, forecasted onset of uh, El Nino, uh, which at the very least will be with us over the first quarter of next year. And unfortunately, the latest forecast uh, uh, show that there is a distinct possibility that it will last until the second quarter of next year. And therefore, we must prepare. Uh, we must prepare and learn some of the, and, and apply some of the lessons that we have learned uh, during the pandemic. When it came to supply of uh, agricultural products, of food, uh, of the efficiencies of the supply chain, all of this will be affected if our water resources are, um, are inadequate. Uh, and so, and that is why we have now begun in government a very accelerated effort to prepare for that. We, uh, for all intents and purposes, we have a good buffer until maybe the end of the first quarter. Now, what we need to do is to prepare a uh, further, uh, further capacity so that should the El Nino extend to the second quarter of next year, we are still at the very least able to supply potable water, especially in the urban areas. Uh, we are able to supply our agriculture. We are able to supply our industry. 
Uh, and one of the, uh, the elements that uh, we um, have uh, uh, sometimes do not think about, we think about the, those uh, major uses of water. We also have to be thinking about our hospitals. Hospitals cannot operate without water. And with the onset of, uh, of a drought, uh, that will become more and more important as, as it goes on. And so these are the issues that are confronting us now. But with projects such as these and the further following projects, I was looking at the brief. Uh, there is another one here in Mandaluyong, and I think there are three more in Cavite. Uh, and that will all be, that is all to the good. And we have to get those, uh, that we have to get those facilities built and operating so that we can consider ourselves at least minimal, minimally ready for the, uh, the arrival of uh, the uh, drought that will be coming next year. Now, I, I, I do not mean to uh, frighten any, anyone off, but it is a serious problem. Um, but there, there, we, we, we are familiar with the capabilities of both private sector and public sector. Put us together and there's much that we can do. And let us do that so that uh, uh, we are, have done our duty to the people and continue to provide, as I said, what I consider their right to availability of clean, fresh water. So, sa bagong Pilipinas na sinisikap natin na itagulod ngayon, hiling ko ang pagkikilaho na ang bawat isa upang mapatibay ang ating mga infrastruktura at mapabuti ang kalagayan ng ating mga mamamayan. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat sa inyong ginagawa sa tulong ninyo para sa taong bayan. Mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. At Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Maraming salamat sa inyong panunod, mga kababayan. Thank you. And uh, continue to support our beloved President, Pangulong Marcos Jr. Bye, bye, bye. Babu, see you again, guys. God bless Philippines. Baboos.